I know everybody adores a good before and after. I know I do. So we are doing board and batten on our walls. That is our project. That's our home improvement uh, interior makeover for you. So I wanted to show you guys though the before so you could really appreciate the after. So let me give you a quick tour of the house. This is the picture that I really wanted. I'm going to show you. I found this on Pinterest and it stole my heart times a million and I had to have it. And then Travis went to town. So this is our family room. We are pulling all of our old baseboards down. It's patching up holes that we had everywhere. I mean, it is very chaotic in here. A lot happening. Uh, these are the new baseboards that are going in. They're a lot smaller. They're a lot more simple, very square. Travis is doing all the baseboards. He's doing the board and batten part everywhere. And then we will have painters come in and paint it all. Uh, a white, I haven't picked the white yet. Uh, this is real life for you guys, folks. So we are doing it in this room. We will do it here throughout the kitchen on these walls and then we will do it all in this main living area. So I loved our fine grain by Dunn Edwards paint that you see all throughout here, but I just wanted a change and I feel like the board and batten is a really fun way to make the house more charming and just kind of customize it. So this is the before. We're also going to do the hallway and our middle bathroom. This is a block of 15 inches, so spacing these 15 inches, this helps a ton. One less measurement. Um, and then I gotta make sure these things are level. So, you know, fudging these things around. And, uh, oh, technically, they're three and a half inches. I think they call, contractors call them one by fours. Okay. But they're three and a half inches. That's three and a half inches, these are two and a half inches. And, and then we're spacing it at 15. 15 inches. Okay. And we're not doing it based on studs or anything else. Huh? Hey! What's been the hardest part so far? The hardest part is our ceilings are perfectly level. So I've got gaps that yeah. we have to fill. And that was frustrating. Basically, we had to do a brand new baseboard to get the strips to be perfect. So we had to rip up the old baseboard. Our old baseboard was longer, so we had a patch. We did a lot of patching. All week, patching. <laughs> and then, um, these are 45 degree angle corners. Oh, man. Every corner is different. So to have the things join, you have to run almost math to make sure they join. Yeah. So that's the hardest part. This is easy, but. Yeah. So making good progress today. I'll show you the bathroom. All right, here's the bathroom. He's just gotta do a few more boards here. So, yeah, definitely getting there. This mess is crazy. Also, we never had a proper window frame, so Travis built this, and I am obsessed. I love it so much, it's so cute. Way to go, Trav. Today is the day before the painters come. We have finally finished our paneling and we are testing out some paints. Did some research online, tried to find out what are the top Sherman Williams colors and I went down and I picked up about four to test on our walls. I am down to these two right now. I have extra white and I have pure white. These are the two, I think most popular Sherman William whites. I don't want it to be too like crisp, crazy white, but I also don't want it to be too warm of a white. And I also don't want all of the white walls to just blend in with the cabinets. I would like a little bit of a difference. We're ready to go. Here is the room before. And it's gonna be about a five day project. They've got a lot of work to do here. Um, 
but I literally cannot wait to see this all come together. Board and batten, paint coming right up. And we're finally saying goodbye to our fine grain walls. There's the hallway done. This was a lot of work by my sweet hubby and he just knocked it out of the park. The bathroom. Just got a lot going on here. So I wanted to give you guys one last final look at the before. And ironically, Florence took a Sharpie to the walls. Um, yeah, good timing, Florence. If you're ever gonna do that, now would be the time to do that. Hallway before. The painters got here today and holy moly, this is a lot of work. And I just wanted to show you. They say this is gonna be like a full five day kind of job. So, my house is covered in plastic and paper all over the floors and everything is I'm starting to be very, very thankful that we are not painting this on our own, but I am just dying to see this come together. So, hopefully soon. And the color I went with is Extra White from Sherman Williams. I had a lot of people say that was a really great white and from my research online, it's definitely like a true, true white and I didn't want any creaminess or anything. So, that's the color I chose and that's what everything will be painted that same color. So, just wanted to let you know. This is day four of the painters here. I think they're finally getting ready to paint. This is crazy. Okay, first coat of primer on. It's pretty exciting, guys. The end is hopefully near by the end of today. It's Friday. The painters have been here for the last four days. One coat of primer ready for paint. Oh, Florence is a princess today. <laughs> so we are ready to get our life back in order and hopefully have the first round of paint in here by the end of today. Hallway and bathroom still need some work. Getting there. Freaking out. They just finished. It looks so good. Check it out. <clears throat> This is gonna be a problem, but we'll figure that out. Oh my gosh. So bright, but so pretty. I really love it. This looks so good, you guys. I could cry, I'm so happy. Can't wait to get this all cleaned up and see it. So pretty, so pretty. Wow. What a transformation. So great. Excuse my like crazy hair. I just worked out, but I just had to show you guys today. We finished. Today is the first day in the last, gosh, like nine days. We haven't had painters here, and this has just been a project, but it is done, and I am loving the board and batten so much. So I thought I would give you a peek into the after. We have a lot of things still to do as far as just decorating and hanging things on the walls, but I feel like I'm gonna need your guys' help because it is so fresh and I love the white so much, but I know it can't be fully white, but I also wanna be really picky about what I hang and wear. So I'm gonna need your help. So let me show you the after. Okay, so here is the after everybody. We went with Extra White from Sherman Williams. And I love the board and batten finish. I just feel like it gives it a super kind of beachy, cottagey feel. It does pop a little bit against our window shutters and against the cabinetry. It's just a subtle change of a difference, but overall um, doesn't clash too much. So I ended up being a really good white. So here it is. I feel like this room in particular is just super bright. Um, it just makes it feel so much more just alive in here. We don't have a ton of natural light in this room um, as the other rooms. So yeah, this is our 
family room. I also added this chair. I have a lot of decorating to do and I'll do a whole nother vlog on that once I kind of get all my ducks in a row. But wanted to show you guys the final outcome. Not sure if I should hang the shelves back up on either side of the TV. It had a bunch of frames on them. Here it is going towards the front of our house. I cannot brag enough on my hubby. He did the most phenomenal job. Like he did this whole frame up here himself. He did all the woodwork. We did all new baseboards. Like it was just truly a labor of love. And then we had the painters kind of come in and seal the deal, but Overall, gosh, he did so much work and I'm so proud of him. He looks so good. I could cry. We painted the fireplace brick, um, different sheen, but the same color just to kind of match before it was super off white. And we got rid of our faux mosaic tile down here because when we got this rug, I didn't even think about it, but the kind of Robin's egg blue just totally clashed with this blue gray and I just told him to paint it. My biggest question mark is this, this wall right here. It had the kind of gallery assortment before and now I'm kind of leaning towards maybe two bigger prints, maybe a, um, a sofa table behind there with a lamp or something. And again, another question over here. I don't know if I should put those three shelves up again. That bench, I don't know, it's just there. I don't know if it's gonna stay. And we are actually going to be in the process of getting a Dutch door. So this will look totally different right here. It will definitely not be so much white. Here's this room. Got to get rid of those extra leaves. But as you can see, it's just so much brighter. And it just has this very great vibe. I love white. I can't get enough of white. So it definitely makes me happy. So here's the hallway and the bathroom. Major transformation in here. We got rid of those kind of gray walls. Did get this updated mirror and I think I'm gonna spray paint this a matte black to match. Oh, hey, sweetie. you guys enough what hiring good painters is all that makes all the difference they were so professional they were awesome and they really did a good job this was a lot of work I love it I think it's a little white, it's a little white. It is white. hey Florence it's my time moment my moment on mom's YouTube okay but I feel like it's very cottagey and beachy and it's not a super complex you know construction project for the most part so that's kind of good. Yes, I'm okay. very proud. Love you. You're the very, best. Very, very, very proud. Aww. I think the key is smooth, like texture in the walls, which we had smooth texture, but we made it smoother. It's like a basic math problem, which I like math. This is like all spaced out, so there's not like a beam right here. You don't want like things stacked up too much. Come talk to us in a year and see if it's we're still stoked on it, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure we'll we will be. Thank you for the beautiful house. I love you. Yeah, love you. I Thank know. you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will try to do my best to answer. But all in all, this is such a fun and very practical way to update your home. Um, definitely takes definitely some legwork and time. I think makes a really big impact. So have a great day, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.